Hey, it's Dan from The Food in My Beard. Today I'm gonna make some eggnog stuffed donuts with a nice whiskey glaze. Cause what's eggnog without uh, some whiskey, right? Uh, and I'm excited to show you how I do it. So I have the risen donuts here. Um, and it's just a simple dough. I made it by mixing flour, sugar, yeast, and salt in a bowl, then added milk and melted butter, and then an egg and an egg yolk. Mix it around for a while till combined, then put it out on the counter and knead it for about 10 minutes till smooth to the touch. Put it in a greased bowl to rise for a few hours, and rise it definitely does. Roll it out to about a quarter inch thin, and then cut out your donut shapes. You put them on a floured pan and brush with a little bit of butter to rise one more time. And as you can see, they've actually risen quite a bit uh, on their second rise here, and they're about ready to fry. For a temperature on the oil, you're looking between 350 and 375. It's perfect. And you don't need a ton of oil. I uh, do about an inch and a half maybe because they're gonna actually float in the water. I'm just gently dropping these in and they're gonna fry for two minutes maybe. I'll flip it and then two more minutes and that's it. You don't wanna fry them too long and as you can see they float. You can put them onto a rack to dry like I did or just use a plate lined with paper towels. The donuts are absolutely just like fluffy, magical pieces of dough right now. So I have this pastry cream here, and to make this yesterday, I added eggnog and sugar to a saucepan and mixed eggs, egg yolks, sugar, and cornstarch in a bowl. When the nog mixture comes up to temperature, pour it into the egg mixture, trying not to spill as much as I did, then add it back to the saucepan and bring to a simmer. You'll see it thicken as you stir it. Take it off the heat once it's thickened up and add butter, nutmeg, and vanilla extract. Pour this into a bowl to chill overnight, making sure the plastic wrap is touching the surface so it doesn't form a skin. I'm gonna spoon this stuff into a piping bag so we can fill the donuts with it. I absolutely love pastry cream. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, it's pudding, I guess. Uh, but it just is so good. The donuts are super puffy and airy inside, uh, but we wanna make sure that the filling is gonna go all throughout uh, evenly. So I'm just gonna make a little hole with a knife. Kind of make sure there's a nice cavity on the inside there. And I take the pastry cream here, and I'm just gonna put the piping top as deep as you can in there and squeeze it out until it's full. And the last thing we're gonna do is make the quick whiskey glaze. And I have just about a cup or so of powdered sugar. It uh, doesn't really matter how much. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of milk. And a little bit of the whiskey. You don't need much. It's gonna be whiskey flavored uh, because we're not cooking this, uh, so the whiskey is gonna stay very strong. Sometimes when you cook it, uh, the flavors die out a little bit. It's not the case here. You're gonna get a, a punch of the whiskey. I like to just kind of pop the glaze in the center and let it run down uh, the sides. I absolutely love these donuts. You know, it might seem like a bit of work to do all those different components, but in the end, when you're taking that first bite, uh, it's w totally worth it. Especially, you know, uh, it's hard to 
make the holidays different and special right now uh, because you're cooking for the same people every day, but doing something really unique like this is a great way to, uh, to have something memorable that stands out. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a good holiday and hope you make something really cool like this. And if you do, make sure to tag me. I'm at TFIMB on all social media.